thank you to everyone. Uh, it's time for me to move on, and I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to calling another big league baseball game tonight. They're talking about my last year. I'm going to be on the floor. I'm going to be in the cellar. Yeah. Uh, it's been such a complete and privileged life. And I, you know, as so many have said this, I haven't worked a day. I, I mean, I've been employed beautifully and I, I've enjoyed thoroughly rubbing shoulders with the greatest uh, athletes in all sports and to, and to work side by side with people like Mark Grant and Mark Sweeney and, and to be, I'm still the fan. They're the, they're the players that su succeeded and I get to pick their brain. Oh my. Yeah, me, oh my. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, oh my has been a, an expression, a great friend of mine for over 50 years of my career. And never have those two words expressed more personal joy than at this very moment. Man, I thought I'd get all the way to the end before I started to get emotion. Scully called me when the announcement was made, and he said, only one piece of advice, Enberg, no crying at Cooperstown. Congratulations on a magnificent career. Yeah, I didn't you. cry at Cooperstown. I, mean, gee, I didn't yeah, cry. You did very well. <laughs> I was waiting to see. No crying at Cooperstown. What I will miss, uh, what I've enjoyed, and, and they're the same, aren't they? I'll miss the preparation and the anticipation most of all, and the crowd reaction. I love to play with the crowd and the crowd to punctuate any of uh, my baseball calls. Touch them all to the Padres, regain the lead, three to two. I love the San Diego fans, and I love the fact that I'm able to call a game with San Diego in front. Every city says, hey, we're the greatest uh, 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 fans in the world, don't they? Well, we are, and the ones that have loyally stand, stood by this uh, franchise, I can't wait for the time when Petco Park is jammed and there's a thousand people outside that want to get in and the tickets are all sold out, and they're here to cheer a, a, a pennant driving team and eventually a World Series. You're paid to prepare and broadcast the bad games. The goal is to keep your audience and, and entertain them. You may have to go to history and music and into the great character of Mark Grant. When you have a great game, you don't need all those notes. I mean, the game carries itself. But when it slows down and you're down 10 to one in the seventh inning, uh, you better be prepared so that at least you, if they want to stay with you, entertain them. Is it relaxing your eyes? Does it make me better looking? No. You're not the game, you know, you're, you're not the game. You're there to enhance the experience of those watching or listening to you to enjoy the game all the more. And uh, the game, it's never been about me. It's been about the privilege of sitting there and talking about the greatest athletes and the greatest games in the world.